Harper will be back with a warrant. You think that you can love him? Look, I think they'd be here eventually. Don't panic. No, I should just tell them that I did that. I'm not going to kill them. No, stay quiet and don't volunteer anything. There's no proof that Logan was here, okay? Right? Lulu, what are you doing here? Lulu doesn't need an excuse to be here, but you fellas do. This is a police matter. We need to ask you a few questions. Ask away. The questions are vagina for you. Well, they're about Logan's murder, right? How do you know about the killing? Mac told me this morning, and I told Johnny. Where were you last night between 8 and 11 p.m.? This is this is not fair. I'm sorry. You you really shouldn't even be asking him okay, these first questions. First off, don't. You're difficult here. Right? This is not right. All right. Why don't we go grab some coffee? Like I don't want any no, coffee. No, I just think okay. that you guys don't... It's okay. I'll take care of this, and then we'll spend the rest of the day together, right? planning on spending the day together alone. Well, the sooner you ask the questions, the sooner this will be over. Where were you last night when Logan Hayes was murdered? I'm not saying a damn word without my attorney. The latte and the good old-fashioned black java. Thanks. Sure. Hey, did you uh, get things straight help Maxie last night? Hey. What happened? Same old Maxie and I had a stupid fight that started at the magazine and ended up here. Yeah, the threats of horns is so that we can throw them out. And what were you fighting about? Lucky, I don't need babysitting. You already got me away from Johnny's and Michael Questioner, so you can go back to work. It's not even worried about you. I'm fine. I don't think you are. You cared for Logan once, and now he's been murdered. Can we just not talk about this? No, we have to. I think there's something that you're not telling me, Lulu. Now, what is it? Please don't interrogate me. I cannot take this right now. You suspect Johnny, don't you? Because he lives in a violent, lawless world. I know all the warnings about Johnny. I've heard them a thousand times. I don't need to hear them again. So if you're not going to leave, I will. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I don't want to arm you. Ooh, you're shaking. I am fine. No, you're not. Wait, this guy, you're so scared. This commission was here. Mm -hmm. Yep. What's she saying? Well, nothing, but I doubt it's the end of it. Well, if, if they come here and they get a search warrant, they won't find anything. Thanks to you. I have some bad news, Johnny. Daddy cornered me, and he asked me about Logan's murder. I had to tell him you everything. Mean yeah. That I killed him. Uh, well, and also that Lulu and Maxie uh, are in on it. Why did you do that? Because you know him, John. He would have found out anyway. So what's to stop him from arranging a little accident between Maxie and Lulu and having him fall down an elevator shaft? Well, I, I told him. I, I told him. If anything happens to Lulu, that he's going to lose you forever. So what? He'll do anything to protect me. You know that. So will I. Logan's dead. And you and Matt show up and question Johnny. Why wouldn't Matt be scared? What did Johnny tell you? Nothing. Nothing. He spent a night in jail for assaulting Logan at the Metro Court. <laughs> he might have stabbed him. You keep saying that, but how can you? Because I know Johnny. He wouldn't do that. Okay, then you thought you knew Logan, too. Well... I clearly was wrong about Logan, okay? He was carrying around a lot more hurt and anger than I knew about, and he thought it was going to be different, but in the end, I hurt him as much as everybody else, and and now he's... You're a good person. You always look out for the best in everyone, and sometimes you don't live up to your belief in them. As this is going back to Johnny. You blew Logan off in Kate Howard's office. He was angry. And it makes all the sense in the world for him to go after Johnny. Now, who knows? Maybe Johnny killed him in self-defense. <laughs> you have to face the fact that Johnny is a suspect. And if he killed Logan, there's no way you can save him. Doing something to Lulu is not going to protect me. You need to swear to me you're going to leave her alone. What is it about that girl, John? Explain it to me like I'm five. Because I don't get it. I really don't. Lulu is an insipid, whining little brat. All the trouble you've been in this year, most of it is because of her. And this has been, by far, the worst. It is not Lulu's fault that Logan tried to kill me. The guy was a whack job, and he mistreated her for God knows how long. I really wish you would find some sympathy for her. I'm sorry. You know what? That went out the window when you committed murder for her. I really wish you'd stop blaming her. 
Damn it, Johnny. This is murder we are talking about. Scott Baldwin and the cops. They are going to be salivating at the idea of pinning this on you. And Daddy? Daddy will kill me in months deep if I didn't do a good enough job covering this up. It's covered. We're going to be fine. We can't take anything for granted, Johnny. The cops are not going to let this go. I'm not going to let them get you. I won't. Okay. I'm going to fight with you about this, Bonnie. We need each other. I am. I'm grateful for you. I'm standing by me. I always will. Always. Yeah, I got your message. What's wrong? Uh, the apologizes for causing alarm, but he has grave news that will undoubtedly distress the family. Just tell me. Okay, well, Stone Cold was uh, erroneously arrested for the murder of the Krabby Commando. You, you, you've heard about Logan, right? Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. And anyway, so in an effort to exonerate him, the Jackal began investigating and now believes he knows who the true culprit is. What's going on? What did you say to her? 